Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2020 Audi A6 All-Road Prestige, as well as learn about the features and configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Audi continues to expand its lineup of station wagons in the U.S., this time with the arrival of the 2020 A6 All-Road. The All-Road is a raised and lengthened version of the A6 midsize sedan with 1.8 inches of added ground clearance. Similar to the A4 All-Road, the 2020 Audi A6 All-Road is distinguished by matte gray fenders designed to protect against scrapes and scratches you might encounter on an off-road highway trail. There are also standard roof rails, front and underbody protection, and a unique rear diffuser. Chrome slats in the front grill and 20-inch wheels complete the exterior look. Every 2020 A6 All-Road packs a turbocharged 3.0-liter V6 engine, sending power through a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. A mild hybrid electric vehicle system works with the engine to produce the car's total 335 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. The 2020 Audi A6 All-Road also leans into its rough and rugged persona. It features an adaptive air suspension that can raise or lower the wagon's ride height based on the situation. Maximum ground clearance is a healthy 7.3 inches, though it can only hold it up to 21.7 miles an hour. And for sporty driving, it lowers to 4.9 inches. There are six driving modes, Auto, Comfort, Dynamic, Individual, Off-Road, and Lift. Audi's famed Quattro all-wheel drive system is standard and hill descent control works to safely bring the A6 all-road down steep or loose surfaces without the need for the driver to touch the brake pedal. As we can see here, the 2020 Audi A6 all-road is available in two configurations, two trim levels, however you want to call it. The base model is the Premium Plus. It has a healthy starting price of $65,900. It comes pretty loaded, 20-inch wheels. It's got the Audi Virtual Cockpit with the 12.3-inch LCD digital instrument cluster. It even comes with the Bang & Olufsen sound system, and it's got a top-view camera. It's pretty loaded right from base model. But I like the Prestige because, well, number one, it's not quite $5,000 more. And for just a little bit more money, you get power soft closing doors. You get the heads-up display. If you watch this channel, you know I love that. And it comes with the driver assistance package. So, yeah, I think the Prestige, based on the fact that they're so close in price, I think the Prestige is the way to go. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2020 Audi A6 All-Road station wagon it's pretty hot actually it's quite gorgeous i'm not even a station wagon guy and uh yeah it's quite gorgeous so in the intro i said that the audi a6 is really a raised version of the audi uh a6 sedan be sure to check out my links that i put in the description in the description below to my build and price reviews of my audi a6s that i've done a 2019 a 2018 i've done the subaru outback and i've done the volvo v90 cross country which also competes directly with the 2020 audi a6 i'll be putting those links up uh in the corner as we talk as we go through this video but i'll also put the links down in the description below okay with that said let's get started Let's start by checking out the exterior colors for the 2020 Audi A6 All-Road. This color here, brilliant black, nothing wrong with this. I knew it, Ibis White gives us a nice shot of the, of the matte gray fenders here, the Ibis White does. Um, if you want to mask that, then having something like, uh, I guess it doesn't really mask it that much, having the brilliant black, because they're more gray, aren't they? So you got the Ibis White anyway, moving on. You got the Avalon Green, yeah, it is. The carrot beige, I kind of like that. Not, I, I actually more than kind of like that. I think that's going to be our color. We're going to for our building price. Uh, there's a firmament blue, florid silver, gavial green. Uh, I don't think so. Glacier white, and there's a mythos black. They've got a few more colors here. Mythos black. There's a Seville red. There's a Soho brown. I like the way that sounds. There's a typhoon gray. And then last but not least, there's a Vesuvius Gray. Nice name. I like that one the best, I think. But we're still going to go with the, uh, what was that? That was, what color was that? We're still going to go with the Carrot Beige. I really like the Carrot Beige. Oh, check this out. So here I was talking about trying to mask 
the body cladding, apparently you can get a full paint finish on the 2020 Audi A6 All Road. And that is really sweet. It says, to add an additional sense of style refinement to a rugged icon, the available full paint finish on select colors, so not every color that's an option, replaces the vehicle's cladding with body colored parts for a seamless look. So you don't have to have the cladding if you don't want to. That's very smart of Audi. That way they don't <laughs> make a buyer go, I love the car, I just don't want the cladding, I'm out of here. Now they can have it and not have the cladding. Super awesome. Full paint finish. There is LED tail lights with dynamic turn indicators. You see how they do that? The Mustangs do that too. The Mustangs have, I guess they would call them dynamic turn indicators. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm guessing this is standard equipment. They don't say available. They don't say optional. They just say LED tail lights with dynamic turn indicators. So we're going to say that these come standard on our A6 All Road. Something else that I think comes standard is the Matrix Design LED headlights. They look gorgeous. Uh, they With an illuminating 5500K color temperature, I don't know what that means, and a long service life, that means they don't need the bulbs replaced or whatever they are called. Uh, these LED lights match style with functionality. Uh, I bet you they really do illuminate the road, too, like they say in the first, uh, first sentence there, or the first line. Uh, so, yeah. Beautiful Matrix Design LED headlights. They, too, look to be standard. And you know what? I was thinking about that whole standard thing with the taillights and the headlights, for that matter. At this price point, minimum $65,009? Yeah, they should be, right? Yeah, I would, I would think so. Oh, check this out. They have some dynamic stuff. So, look, we could click this sculpted rear diffuser. It shows us what a rear diffuser is because people don't know. It outlines that. Your Quattro DNA, okay? And single frame grill. That's the single frame grill. And they're just talking about their design lines and give the vehicle an athletic, rugged look. Uh, that's pretty cool. All right, let's move on. Here's a gorgeous shot of the interior of the 2020 Audi A6 All Road. It looks wonderful in here. Here's that uh, Audi virtual cockpit. That's your 12.3 inch virtual instrument cluster. You've got your Bang & Olufsen sound system. I can tell that right from the jump because I can see the Bang & Olufsen tweeters sitting up on the dashboard in each corner. Then Audi has done this whole different infotainment that is just seamless with a beautiful, looks like a secondary kind of screen down here for all your heating and, con and seat controls and all that. Just beautiful, isn't it? Just beautiful. Here they're talking about the cargo capacity, the cargo room. Uh, they've got 40, 20, 40 folding seat back. There's a hands-free tailgate release. And you can access the space you need to pack for where you're going. Uh, they don't exactly, we haven't found out exactly how much cargo space is back here, but I'm sure we will. Okay, apparently the dual-pane panoramic sunroof. So there's a dual-pane panoramic sunroof. So I probably scroll down a little bit more so we can see it all. I guess we are. Uh, I guess that's standard as well. They don't say that it's not, so let's move on. Okay, here's something that is, a, that is an option. Uh, the contour ambient LED interior lighting. As we can see by the photo here on the left of this information, um, it's co changing colors in here. It's an available ambient LED lighting inside your cabin. 30 color choices. Uh... So there you go. Uh, lighting tracing the exterior design lines is what the lighting is doing. So, and it's doing a very nice job, I might add. Uh, there's available front seat ventilation in the Audi A6 All Road, uh, which uses small fans to direct air through the seats for increased comfort, especially on long journeys and hot as days, right? <laughs> okay, there's a luxury package apparently. Uh, there's an individual that gives you what? Individual contour front seats, they're 18 weight power adjustment seats. Memory function, side bolsters, lumbar support, uh, and they also give you massaging and ventilation. These available front seats offer custom comfort. Yeah, I guess they do with everything they just said. Over here on the right, there's also an extended leather package. And that includes sumptuous Valcona leather on the dash, the armrest, center console. And that's to complement our st their standard leather seating surfaces. The 2020 Audi A6 All-Road is beautiful. It is simply beautiful. Audis in general are beautiful. I'm going to make sure to uh, include a link in the description below to my Audi playlist. I have done quite a few Audis, and so if you're into Audis, you're going to love my playlist. 
let's check out some of these other uh, gallery images of the 2020 Audi A6 All Road. We saw this photo. Uh, they've got some great scenic backgrounds, don't they? Yeah, they do. Where did they go to do these pictures? They look wonderful. Uh, here's a nice shot of the All Road from the back. We haven't really seen a good all uh, a, a good back shot. Uh, there's that interior photo. Here's a shot of the door. There's a nice shot of the interior again with a full illumination. And yeah, I think that apparently seems to be all the images. So let's move on. Here's that uh, Audi virtual cockpit. Now let's talk about the technology. Let's talk about the technology for the 2020 Audi A6 All Road. So I think they're showing the screen a couple of different ways. There's a classic mode right here here's your classic mode that gives you some you know classic dials you got your digital speedometer there and then there's this infotainment mode gives you your whole map across the whole thing it moves your classic dials down and makes them smaller they're still there but they're smaller I think I like the infotainment view, although maybe it could be distracting classic is nice it still puts a, a good size map right in the middle of the cluster so it's actually not bad i probably drive around in classic view what view would you drive around in if you have an opinion on that why don't you leave a uh, comment in uh in the below in the video okay so moving on here's that mmi touch response system and this gives you access to your infotainment and it has haptic feedback that means when you press the button you can kind of feel a vibration my, my cell phone has haptic feedback. Uh, it's got a smartphone-inspired interface, fully integrated 10.1-inch touchscreen display. And then this lower screen is what they're talking about. It's got a, The lower screen is an 8.6-inch lower screen. And that's for all your seat and ventilation and all your AC and your heat and all that, all those controls. And apparently, this is all further enhanced with voice command capabilities. Here's our standard Bang & Olufsen 3D sound system, 16 speakers. Oh, it's got a standard 16 speaker surround sound system. Uh, and yeah, there you go. And then there's an available 3D advanced sound system. So I guess there's two versions. There's then there an available 3D advanced sound system that has 23 speakers and a subwoofer and, and all that. And it has Sirius XM radio and other music sources uh, with concert hall clarity, it says. Here's some other uh, notable technology features. Uh, over here, starting on the left, there's what? Audi Connect. Uh, this is an active subscription. Uh, puts in-car luxury at your fingertips or a simple voice command. This is an available suite of information delivery. Uh, let's see, gives you navigation directions, in-car Wi-Fi, hotspot, blah, 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 blah. Uh, My Audi is, an, is available with an active Audi Connect subscription. Uh, this app can monitor vehicle location and remotely lock unlock your vehicle, uh, add service scheduling, and all that kind of stuff. Over here on the far right, they got what they call the Audi Phone Box, which what that lets you wirelessly wirelessly charge your phone. Uh, you got Apple CarPlay, you got Bluetooth uh, connectivity, and all that stuff. And if you connect through that Audi Phone Box, that'll help boost your phone signal strength as well. Okay, so Audi is going to tell us now about their uh, suite of driver assist technology features, some of them standard, some of them optional. So that's why we're looking at this thing that has all these sensors that are out scanning the road as we drive. So let's find out about uh, this suite of safety features. Okay, over here on the left, let's start on the left. There's Audi PreSense Basic. All right, Audi PreSense City can, all right, by taking information, gather. So this thing can basically help uh, hit, stop, you know, prevent you from hitting somebody in the city. And there's also Audi PreSense City can warn the driver of potential incidents and PreSense Basic can initiate preventative measures. There's a parking system plus. This is an available system that uses acoustic sensors to help detect when you're close to another object. Uh, and then the MMI can display, uh, provide detailed view of the parking situation, da 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 And then there's Audi Side Assist. Some people, other systems call it Blind Spot, <laughs> right? So this thing can check out your blind spot, and there's also Rear Cross Traffic Alert, and there's also Vehicle Exit Warning, which helps alert passengers to detect the vehicles when opening the door. So lots of features, that, lots of uh, little standard little features, or standard and available features, they kind of bundled into this little snippet of information here. There's also Audi Adaptive Cruise Control, there's Audi Active Lane Assist, and there's Parking Steering Assist. 
this parking steering assist is an available system. This active lane assist is an available feature. And adaptive cruise control is also an available feature. So these are not standard on any of the two configurations of 2020 Audi, Audi A6 All-Road. So we're just going to go over some of the performance features really, really fast. We kind of already covered that in the intro, but just to go over it real quick, we've got a V6 engine. It's got Quattro all-wheel drive. It's standard. makes 335 horsepower. It does 0 to 60 in 5.1 seconds. That engine makes 369 pound-feet of torque. All right. Here's a beautiful shot of that car, of the Audi A6 all-road. Uh, we've got an Audi adaptive air suspension. Uh, there you go. And there's an Audi drive select mode, including an off-road mode. We also cover that as well in the intro. Okay, you know what? I think we found out everything we need to know about the 2020 Audi A6 all-road. I think we're actually ready to go do the build and price. We're going to go do the build and price, like I said, of the Prestige. It has a starting MSRP of 70000 four hundred dollars it's got power soft closing doors and all that there dual pane acoustic glass it's got the driver assistance package we'll find out what the executive package is here in a minute uh so yeah let's jump into the build okay well i already said what color i was doing right we said i, I said i was going to do the carrot beige metallic it's a 595 dollar option uh wheels i guess there are no options there's 20 inch 10 spoke v spoke design wheels that's it my friend uh, let's go continue. Let's go to the interior. I don't think there's going to be many options. It's pretty loaded. Standard seats. There's only one set of seats. Oh, I guess we can get these comfort seats. It's part of the luxury package, right? The luxury, luxury package gives us Valcona leather seats, full leather package. So that makes the dashboard leather, the armrest leather, and the center console is leather, uh, and heated and ventilated seats. Let's go ahead and throw that into the, into the mix. Let's go ahead and do it up. All right, so we've got the uh, we've got that luxury seating package. Uh, we're gonna do the black, the black leather. We're doing the black leather. Your decorative inlays. We've got a choice between dark brown or a fine uh, grain ash, which I'm not a fan of. We're going with the dark brown, the walnut. I like that. Let's move on. Is there anything else they want to tell us? Yeah, we've got some packages here. There's that dynamic all-wheel steering. Eh, you know what? I'm okay not getting that. The full paint finish on selected colors. What's the selected colors, though? It certainly won't be carrot beige. It certainly won't be carrot beige. I'm going to try it, though. I'm going to try it. Okay, so per the configurator, we can get the full paint finish. Now, as to whether or not that gives us our true beige paint, I don't know. Black cloth headliner, uh, yes. Night vision assist, they don't even tell us what the price difference would be. But yes, I want the night vision assist. Bang & Olufsen 3D, that's the 23 uh, speaker sound system. Yep, I want that as well. All right, Audi Care, I don't care about that. That's Audi's prepaid maintenance stuff. I don't get into that on the channel. So let's uh, move over here to the summary. Here we are in the summary. So here we are, price is built. $83,340. So, yeah, not cheap. Uh, here's some technical specifications. Uh, here's our colors that we got. The carrot beige. It caught, yeah, So, that I guess we can get the carrot beige. So, the standard co the price was $70,400. Now, we're out the door. What was it? $83,340. So, we racked up about $13,000 in change. Almost $13,000 in options and stuff to get the uh, 2020 Audi A6 all-road that we wanted. But you know what? We've got a heck of a car. Love this car. I like the Audi brand in general. All right, so you know what? I think that's about it. We're going to go ahead and uh, wrap this review up. If you found this review of the 2020 Audi A6 all-road prestige helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to comment. Uh, let me know uh, what kind of paint you like. Uh, would you get the Would you get the cladding? Would you get that Would you get the cladding, or would you get it painted over? Stuff like that. Other than that, you know what? I'm going to tell you to have a nice day, and I'll see you on the very next video.